Hey guys, this is Blake with Hound Hogs Barbecue, and today we're doing something a little bit different than usual. Um, recently, we put on an SCA contest uh, called the Hound Hogs Steak Shootout, and in this, there was a raffle that you could enter to support the Fallen Outdoors, and I just so happened to win uh, part of it, not all of it. And I actually won this Proud Pyro Grill, and what I wanted to do was just do a quick uh, overview. I've never seen it before, never heard of it before. Um, and I wanted to just show you guys, I'm actually gonna try to sear a steak on it today. Basically, the gist of it is this. It's a live fire grill. Um, it comes with this cooking grate um, that you can cook on on top of, or it actually comes with a spark arrester, and you can use it just as a camp grill, uh, just for heat or just for fun. Um, and so you just load logs in here, you light it up and get it going. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to get it hot enough to sear today. So I'm gonna give it a shot. We're just gonna cook some steaks and just see how it does, uh, but let's get to it. Yeah. I'm hoping it sucks. Cause if it's really cool, I'm gonna fucking get one. <laughs> like when you try to turn left to go, uh, if you're coming from here, mm -hmm. go down the bypass, turn left to go towards Blake's house. Yeah. Uh, past like the cultural arts center. Yeah. Okay. If you turn right, you know that place that's got that pond with the yeah, bridge right. in the middle? <laughs> all right so a little behind the scenes here this is round two this is steak number two uh first steak i forgot i didn't season the steak zach decided to try a rub that had a lot of sugar in it i left it on too long it got a little charry um so but honestly this the grill itself is actually doing pretty good um, I'd be interested to see what it would be like to have grill grates on here to where you can kind of put whatever rub you want and get those grill marks on there. Uh, big thing you don't want to forget is you need a lot of oil on here. Since you don't have any way of containing like a poured oil, you need a good bit of oil. So I'm going to do that. And then let's give it a go. I'm only going to do a minute per side and then I'm going to indirect the rest. I'm sure you guys can hear that sizzle through my microphone. It's a lovely sound. All right, one minute. All right. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Uh, yeah, give me a minute. Oh, that's much better. Much, much better. Dude, look at that sear. 
Ooh. Just gotta get your timing right. Yeah, I didn't know there was like different color tickets. Cause I wanted the cooler, but then my ticket wasn't the same color as the cooler. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys the sear that we got from this last one. Biggest thing I, I noticed was it was running pretty hot, uh, about 500 probably. Uh, put a lot of duck fat under there. It was a clean, but the other side didn't sear quite as well because it wasn't clean when I put it on. Uh, but I left it on for a minute and then flipped it and that's what it looked like. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so third time's a charm. I'm uh, done cooking on this thing. I actually really like it. It was pretty fun to cook on. Uh, the sear on my second one was just perfect. Uh, I mean, I don't think I would have wanted anything else out of it. Um, I just like being able to do something other than cooking with charcoal. Um, using, you know, live fire and real wood is actually really fun. This thing, the, the spark arresters all the way around really keeps it contained. Um, it got super hot if you want it super hot. I wanted it a little cooler, so I let my fire die down. Um, but this thing's getting seasoned now, and so it's going to be good to go for the future. So um, I'm pretty interested to see what else it can do. I know one thing is it could just be like a campfire. If you put the spark arrestor on, take the cooking plate off, um, you can just use it as just a campfire. So um, we'll be doing more with this. Um, so it's a pretty good product. I like it. Other than that, guys, uh, as always, go out and cook something new, and I'll catch you later.